Hello, I'm Stephen Ballast. Welcome to my channel where I explore worship technology solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to control your PTZ cameras right from ProPresenter. Now, this video is a follow-up to my previous video where I showed you how to bring in any NDI camera, like these Honey Optics PTZ cameras, right into ProPresenter. And we set up a preview monitor so you can see each of your cameras and what's going live on your stream. And then we use ProPresenter as the video switcher to switch between your cameras. So how you'll see things configured in ProPresenter now is where we left off in that video. So if you haven't watched that already, you're probably gonna wanna go do that. Since I released that video, one of the things I've been trying to figure out is how can we also control our cameras from within ProPresenter so the operator doesn't have to switch to any other program to run the live stream. They can run everything right from within ProPresenter. And what I'm about to show you is one method for doing that. So high level overview, what we're gonna be doing is using a macro in ProPresenter to send out MIDI to another application that will receive the MIDI message and then communicate with the cameras over the network to recall a preset based on the MIDI message that it receives. To set this up, let's actually work backwards, starting from the cameras and working our way back towards ProPresenter. To control the cameras, we're gonna be recalling presets that are stored on the camera. Most PTZ cameras allow you to store presets that store the pan and tilt position and the zoom and focus of the camera. And then when you recall a preset, the camera will return to that shot. So the first thing we need to do is store some useful presets in our camera. With these Honey Optics cameras on any computer that is on the same network as the camera, we can open a browser and enter the IP address of the camera and log in with the username and password, admin and admin. And we'll get a basic web interface to control the camera. And also from here, we can store presets. So I'll frame up my first shot. I'll make this a close up. Enter one and click set. Frame up my second shot. I'll make this a wide shot. Enter two and click set. So now I have two presets stored in this camera, and these presets are persistent. They will be remembered by the camera even after I've powered it off and back on again. To save time, I've already stored presets in my second camera as well, so both cameras have presets stored in them. Now on my computer that is running ProPresenter, and I'm using a PC for this example, but there are Mac versions of what I'm gonna show you available, so you can do this on a Mac as well. I need to download and install two programs. The first one is called Loop MIDI, and it is just a helper program that allows us to route MIDI between applications on the computer. There is a link to this free download down in the description of this video. Once that is installed, launch it, and all you have to do is click this little plus button to create a MIDI device on your machine that will be used for routing. By default, it's called Loop MIDI Port. Now we can close this window, but the program remains running on our computer in the background. You can see it down in the system tray. Next, we need to download and install the second program that will receive MIDI and send out the control messages to the cameras. For that, we'll use the PTZ Optics MIDI control app. And there's also a link to that down in the description of this video. Once that is installed, we'll launch it. And at the top is a settings button. Click that and then click the camera settings and here I'll enter the IP addresses of my two cameras and then click Save. And our Loop MIDI port device should show up. Select it and click Connect. Now in the bottom area here, we need to click the MIDI note under the Connect column to connect to those cameras. And if everything is working, you'll see the buttons for the presets light up. And if we click one of these, you should see your camera move to that preset. So now we're ready to launch ProPresenter. In ProPresenter, first we need to add our Loop MIDI device that we'll be sending the messages out to. Go to the ProPresenter menu and click Preferences. Then on the Devices page, we'll click the plus button and select MIDI. Then click the Settings button and under Destinations, put a check next to the Loop MIDI port. Click Done and now click Connect and we can close the Preferences dialog. Now in the lower right corner, we're gonna to go to the Macros tab and click the plus button to create a new macro. Enter a name that will be helpful for you to identify what this macro will do. So I'm gonna call it Camera 1 Preset 1 Pulpit Close-Up. Now right click on the macro and go to Add Action, Communication, MIDI, 
and select MIDI note on. Now this note here is what I need to set to select a specific camera and preset. So to see what that is, I'm gonna position these two windows here side by side so we can see them both. And what you'll notice is that there is a number on each preset button in the MIDI control app. And in Pro Presenter, each note has a number beside it. So all we need to do is select the number for the preset we want. So camera one, preset one is zero. Camera one, preset two would be 12 and so forth. So let me quickly add in camera two's presets. Now up here in my preview monitor, you can see each camera's input, as well as what's actually live and going out to our live stream. Now we can recall our camera's presets by clicking a macro and set up our next shot before we take it live on our live stream. And that's all from right within ProPresenter. I hope you found this video useful. If you did and haven't already, be sure and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.